everyone. Welcome to this week's Open Boat. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite moors that I never leave home without, the bucktail. Oh, <laughs> the, bu <laughs> the bucktail. <laughs> so why do I always keep the bucktail in my plug bag? I use it in the fall and the spring. The bucktail is an awesome and versatile lure. It's heavy, it helps navigate the water column. You can control where it navigates in the water column. And I've had great success with the bucktail when nothing else works. Prime example, we're in the full run right now, waiting on peanut bunker. When those peanut bunker are here and there's bass blitzing on the peanut bunker, you're gonna be instinctually casting a top water. So that top water may not be getting the attention of the stripers. So you need something that gets in with the peanut bunker. That's when you throw a bucktail because that bucktail can get in right with the peanut bunker. You can feel as you're reeling in that bucktail, you can feel the peanut bunker freaking out around it. And then you're gonna get hit because it's in with the bait. It's not above the bait, it's not below the bait. It knows where to be in the water column perfectly. Another thing with bucktails is They've been around for a long time. Literally, the Air Force used in World War II a little rescue kit, like had a raft and everything in it. It had bucktails in it. Because if these airplanes went down in the ocean, they needed a food source. So they had a bucktail to catch fish and survive. So not only is a bucktail helping the United States Air Force, it's helping you surf casters out. I use my bucktails in the fall and the spring. Fall time, I'll use them off the beaches, but in the spring, I'll use them, a heavier one, like a three ouncer, I'll use in some spots that have heavy current where I want that bucktail to get down and go behind the rocks to lose that current because big stripers will be hiding deep down trying to stay out of that heavy current. So I've had great success with bucktailing. The conditions with them don't really matter for fishing off the beaches. We've had days where it's nor'easter conditions. No one's fishing the beach. It's raining. The waves are ripping in. It's rough. And we're using this very bucktail catching stripers. It's, you're not, in those conditions, you're not gonna be using a top water. You can use your bucktail. So that's just a quick rundown on the infamous bucktail and why you should always have one in your plug bag. So make sure you guys get some. This one is the Gen X by s, s Jigs, the red head and the white body. And then this is a little trailer. It's called a JK Bait Trailer. They're really nice. And get the best out of your fishing experience with the best bang for your bucktail.